okay so in this video we will design our home.dart file so let me just close all of the open file and now open up the home.dart file and right here we need to create another file by the name of app bar so right here first we will import the material.dart library and after this we will create a stateless widget and the widget name will be app bar then right down below right here we will say final we will create a string variable by the name of section name then right here we will say require this dot section name and that's it and now right here instead of returning the container we will return a row widget and inside this row widget the cross access alignment will be cross access alignment dot start then after this the main access alignment will be main access okay so to move this main access alignment we need the main access size so the main access size will be equals to main access size dot main and after this right here we will create a children and inside this children first we will show the logo so for that we will use image dot asset and the logo is inside the assets folder then the file name is firebase underscore logo dot png then we will give it a height as well and the height will be 20 after this we will add a size box of width 8 then we will show text and the text will be flutter fire then we will give it some style so we will say style then text style and the color will be colors dot yellow accent and the font size will be 18 after this we will show the section name so we will say text and inside this text we will show the section name so type section name then after this we will give it a style so we can just copy it from there and paste it down below and just change the color to orange accent and the font size will be the same which is 18 so this is our app bar dot dot file and now if we get back to the home dot dot file right here we will use a scaffold and the scaffold background color will be color and then 0x ff 2 c 3 8 4 a and after this we will add the app bar so type app bar then the app bar affiliation will be 0 the background color will be color and it will be the same as the as this one so you can just copy this from here and paste it right here after this the title will be app bar let me just check the function name okay it is just app bar so app bar and the section okay so make sure to import the app bar at the top as well so the section name will be crud so app bar is still not inserted at the top okay so make sure to import it at the top okay so as you can see it shows an error so we need to change the 
class name to a bar title and right here also we will type a bar title so as you can see now the error is gone and after the app bar we will show a floating button as you see in the introductory video so we will type floating floating action button then we will type floating action button and in here the on pressed will be for now none the background color will be colors dot orange accent and after this we will add an icon so for that we will get a child then we will say icon and inside this icon we will say icons dot add okay this one so icons dot add and after this the icon color will be colors dot white and its size will be I just say 32 after the floating action button we will show the uploaded items okay so for that after this uh, floating button we will say body and inside the body we will create a safe area widget and inside the safe area widget we will show all of the uploaded items so right here we will say padding and inside this padding we will say padding then const edge insets dot only from the left it will be 16.0 and from the right it will also be 16.0 and from the bottom it will be 20.0 then after this we will create a child and inside this child we will call a class but we didn't create that class for now so we will just comment this out and once we create that file and then that class and inside that class we will show all of the uploaded items so then we will call that class right here so now our app bar and our home screen dot dot design is done so let us go back here and if we copy this paste it right here because as you know we change the app app bar class name to app bar title so we need to change it right here as well and now let's just restart our application and see how our design look so this is our login so now if we enter our unique id and click on login okay now if you click on login as you can see this is our home screen there is our app bar and then here is the floating action button so our design look nice and beautiful and in the next video we will work on this floating action button so when the user click on it we will show a new screen and on that screen the user will enter the title and the description and when he click on upload then the data will be stored inside our database